So in this video I'll be showing you how to add a watercolour painting effect to your pictures. So I'll be using this picture for the example and I'll be leaving links to all the pictures I use in the description. I first need to duplicate it. So I'm going to the move tool and I'm clicking on the layer to highlight it in the layer studio. And I'm holding my finger on the screen for a second and then letting go so the options come up and I'm clicking duplicate. Then I'm going to the filter studio and I'm scrolling down to detect edges. So you have the choice of detect edges, detect horizontal or detect vertical edges. So this will isolate and strengthen horizontal and vertical edges or both while darkening the rest of your picture. In this case I'll be using detect vertical edges. And just a tip, if the filter doesn't work, as in if you're clicking on it and it's not doing anything, you might need to rasterize the layer you're working on. So to rasterize, I'm going to the layer studio. I'm making sure I'm on the right layer, which you'll be able to see because that layer is highlighted. I'm clicking this, then rasterize. And rasterizing just means that you'll be converting that layer into a pixel layer so that the pixels can be manipulated. Now I need to change the blend mode. So I'm going to the layer studio and I'm clicking these three dots and I'm clicking here to change the blend mode to subtract. So now the picture is very dark. So I'm going to the adjustment studio and I'm adding a brightness and contrast adjustment. And I'm bringing the brightness up to 33% and the contrast up to 3%. And if you're working on a different picture, just be aware that the settings I'm doing won't necessarily work for your picture. Then I want to saturate the colors a little bit. So I'm going back to the adjustment studio and I'm scrolling down to the bottom and I'm clicking on vibrance. And so the difference between vibrance and saturation is that vibrance allows you to adjust the intensity of subtle colors in your picture while minimizing the oversaturation of more intense colors and skin tones are preserved to retain a natural appearance while saturation controls the intensity of the colours equally. So increase the vibrance if you want it to be subtle and increase the saturation if you want it to be intense basically. Now there's a lot of contrast and dark spots so I'm going to the adjustment studio again and I'm adding a curves adjustment. And I'm bringing up the shadows which is the bottom left node and I'm adding a node in the middle of the line which will be the midtones and I'm bringing that back towards the center. And to make it look more like a painting, you can add a canvas texture. And I'm making sure that that covers all corners of the picture. Then I'm changing the blend mode to multiply. And I'm bringing down the opacity. 